Bernie Sanders has an incredible record of accomplishing the impossible. He's successfully taken on the richest man in the world, the most powerful financial institution in the world, and what the UN calls the worst humanitarian crisis in the world today. But somehow people still doubt Sanders' ability to get things done. Can you do what you say you're yes, going to do? Yes, damn right, I can How do you what gonna I do say. It? Sanders has a proven ability to get things done working with people of all ideologies even political opponents. In fact, much of what he's already accomplished, he's done working with Republicans. So I ended up passing more amendments on the floor of the House working with Republicans than any other member of the House. Hi, I'm Matt Orfala, and here are five of Bernie Sanders' amazing victories for everyday Americans. Number one, Bernie Sanders' veterans bill. If we go to war, if we spend trillions of dollars on that war, when our men and women come home from war, some wounded in body, some wounded in spirit, I don't want to hear people telling me it's too expensive to take care of those wounded veterans. In 2014, after hearing dozens of veterans had died waiting for health care from the VA, Bernie Sanders leapt into action to ensure our vets got the health care they deserved. If you think it's too expensive to take care of veterans, don't send them to war. You would think ensuring health care to our soldiers would be something everyone in Congress could easily agree on, but that wasn't the case. I am disappointed we've only secured uh, two Republican votes. Republicans blocked Senator Bernie Sanders' bill to provide medical and other benefits for veterans. I am going to keep going on this. We are not going to give up on our veterans. Apparently, behind the scenes, Senator Sanders was working out some sort of compromise deal with a Republican senator, John McCain. Bernie Sanders is known as a fighter, and it's been a pleasure to do combat with him. <laughs> Pinch yourself. Go ahead. I'm quite sure you're actually awake. In the end, Bernie Sanders passed the most comprehensive veterans bill in decades through Congress with nearly unanimous votes. The bill increased accountability at the VA, improved healthcare access, healthcare choice, and other benefits for veterans and their families. I know my husband would be proud of this bill to step forward and safeguard his loved ones, just as he did when he stepped forward to serve our country. Thank you. Senate Democrat Jack Reed said, frankly, without Bernie Sanders, I don't think we could have gotten it done. He did it. I especially want to thank those who led the fight to make sure every veteran has access to the care and benefits that they've earned. Senator Bernie Sanders. Do you remember how to sing? Well, just barely. You know, I don't get enough practice. I want more. They said it couldn't be done. <laughs> Senator Bernie Sanders, a remind. Number two, the historic audit of the world's most powerful financial institution, the Federal Reserve. You're looking at trillions of dollars of taxpayer money being placed at risk, and we don't know who received that. That to me is an outrage, and that to me is unacceptable. After the economy crashed in 2008, the Fed gave trillions of dollars of zero interest loans to some of the very same banks responsible for crashing the economy. Do you have to be a large, greedy, reckless financial institution to apply for these monies. What irked Sanders even more was the fact that the secret Fed would not answer basic questions about what happened to trillions of dollars. Will you tell the American people to whom you lent 2.2 trillion of their dollars? I mean, you're thinking, wait a minute, this is my money, our money, exactly. the people's money, Absolutely. and you're not gonna tell us what you're doing with it? Who got the money? Any bank or that has uh, access to the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve's discount. We tell us who they are. No, because the reason that is counterproductive and will destroy the value of the program is that banks will not come to the discount. Uh, isn't that too bad? Sorry. In other words, isn't that too bad? They took the money, but they don't want to be public about the fact that they received it. Sanders introduced an amendment requiring the first ever top-down audit of the Federal Reserve. That amendment was opposed by the Fed. Oh, vigorously opposed, yes. The Fed has gone nuts over this, absolutely nuts over this. They've got their lobbyists up on the hill. Sanders fought back by forming another unlikely coalition. Washington's newest odd couple, Vermont Independent Senator Bernie Sanders and South Carolina Republican Senator Jim DeMint. Larry, you know it's hard for us to stand this close together. <laughs> but at the grassroots level, we have the AFL-CIO, the SEIU, we have 
MoveOn.org. You don't usually work with these groups. Is that fair to say? I think that's fair to say. That's right. <laughs> the coalition succeeded in getting Sanders' amendment passed. What just transpired was an historic vote for the American people. Senator Sanders, congratulations. You are, in many respects, a true American hero tonight. Finally, bringing transparency to what is perhaps the most powerful federal agency, and that is the Fed. Sanders' efforts revealed that at a time when the average American standard of living was declining, the Fed provided $16 trillion in financial assistance to massive corporations. So while millions of Americans lost their homes, bank executives pocketed billions of dollars in bonuses. These bonuses are outrageous. They were earned with taxpayer money by the same bankers who brought the economy to the brink of disaster. What you have now opened up is perhaps the biggest single transfer of taxpayer money to corporate America in history. The public would not have known that without my amendment. Number three, the Stop Bezos Act. Jeff Bezos, the major owner of Amazon, is the wealthiest person on earth, worth about $155 billion dollars. In fact, since the beginning of this year, his wealth has increased by about $260 million every single day. Yes, every single day. Meanwhile, Mr. Bezos continues to pay many thousands of his Amazon employees wages that are so low that they are forced to depend upon taxpayer-funded programs such as food stamps, Medicaid, and subsidized housing in order to survive. And you know who pays for those programs? You do. The working families and middle class of this country should not have to subsidize the wealthiest people in the United States of America. That's absurd. Get off of welfare. Start paying your workers a living wage. Sanders' Stop Bezos Act would tax large corporations like Amazon for every dollar their underpaid workers receive in government welfare. In other words, the taxpayers of this country would no longer be subsidizing the wealthiest people in this country who are paying their workers inadequate wages. We put a lot of pressure on him through social media, through a variety of mechanisms. And the end result, he did the right thing and he raised minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. Amazon's shift means the Stop Bezos Act did what it was designed to do, even if it never becomes law. It worked! It shamed Jeff Bezos into doing the right thing. With the news, I feel so happy. Because now I actually will be making more to be able to take care of my kids. We have succeeded in raising the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour in states and cities all across this country. And together we forced Amazon to do the same. Number four, the Affordable Care Act. We're not gonna tear up the Affordable Care Act. I helped write it. I made the Affordable Care Act along with Jim Clyburn a better piece of legislation. In 2009, Bernie contributed a provision to the Affordable Care Act that successfully expanded community health centers, which resulted in 9 million more Americans having primary health care, including dental and mental health counseling. Getting 9 million more people access to health care is no small thing. And Bernie's health centers funding didn't just improve the lives of millions of Americans. It did so cost effectively. Community health centers not only provide important services that the American people need, they also save taxpayers billions of dollars. If people do not have a community health center to go to, they go into an emergency room, which is the most expensive form of primary health care in this country. Surprisingly, Freedom of Information Act requests revealed that even many of the Republicans who strongly opposed the Affordable Care Act secretly endorsed the benefits of Bernie Sanders' provision. And Sanders is still making incredible progress to implement an even better cost-effective healthcare system. A Medicare for all, single-payer system. Just three years ago, people dismissed Medicare for all as impossible. It's a better idea that will never, ever come to pass. But largely thanks to Bernie Sanders' 2016 campaign, Medicare for all is now a mainstream idea that most Republicans and 70% of Americans support. Medicare for all is comprehensive. It covers all health care needs. For senior citizens, it will finally include dental care, 
hearing aids, and eyeglasses. But you don't know Second that. of all. You don't know that, Second Bernie. of all. We'll come to you in a second, I Congress do know, and I wrote the damn bill. Number five, the Yemen war resolution. What's going on in Yemen now is almost unspeakable. What the UN calls the world's worst humanitarian crisis. 22 million people, nearly all of them children, need urgent humanitarian assistance. The fact is that the United States has been Saudi Arabia's partner in this horrific war. <laughs> The missile targeted a bus carrying children. This was a U.S.-made bomb. Sanders introduced a bill to end U.S. support of the Saudi-led war in Yemen, declaring it unconstitutional. As every school child should know, Article 1 of the Constitution clearly states that it is Congress, not the President, that has the power to declare war. Tragically, however, over many years, Congress has abdicated that responsibility to Democratic presidents and Republican presidents. Today, we begin the process of reclaiming our constitutional authority by ending U.S. involvement in a war that has not been authorized by Congress and is clearly unconstitutional. Sanders got support from both Democrats and Republicans, including conservative Senator Mike Lee. I'm feeling the burn. <laughs> I, I completely agree with what he's saying. Sanders' bill made history when it passed the Senate and the House in 2018. For the first time in 45 years, we have utilized the War Powers Act to move us forward to end the horrific Saudi-led war in Yemen. But in the end, and President Trump vetoed it. This is a glaring example of how Bernie Sanders' ability to get things done would reach an even more impactful level as president if he were to go on to defeat Trump in 2020. If we do not allow Trump and his friends to divide us up, if we stand together not as red state and blue state, but as working people, fighting for dignity, if we stand together, brothers and sisters, there is nothing we will not be able to accomplish. I'm Matt Orfala. Thanks for watching. I think the message that we wanted to make is that if you have the guts to stand up, you can take on the Democratic Party, you can take on the Republican Party, you can take on big money interests. And if you are persistent enough, you can actually have some success.